Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cogules Nation. My name is Secret Agent Nixon Cogules. I'm the founder and the director of the Cogules Industry Spy Network and the Cogules Nation. So, you may be wondering in some of my videos why I have multiple web browsers. I practice a little something called browser compartmentalization. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, Nixon you may be asking. What in the heck is that? I basically use web browsers for different purposes. I have one web browser for one different purpose, or maybe two to three, but usually one maximum. I have a new profile in LibreWolf, and I thought I would teach you how to harden any Firefox-based browser. Like harden it for whatever purposes. Now, thankfully, this does come with uBlock Origin. It's turned off right now, but you could definitely despookify this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go into my stuff folder. And then I've got a couple of different things here. For example, we've got the Hitchhiker's Guide to Online Privacy. And then there's like a uh, an Arch Linux sort of deal. But I don't think I'll be covering that today. Um, we are going to be starting with this. And all of these uh, things, all of these little things that I'm using for this video will be linked in the description below. So we should be good to go on that front. Uh, we are going to be starting with a few of these settings. First things first, we're going to go into this LibreWolf thing. We need to go ahead and click on these things here, go into settings, go into privacy and security, and then it should be under Firefox data collection use. Thankfully, this is actually disabled by default. So we are good on that front. Next, we need to change the default search engine. The default search engine for LibreWolf is actually DuckDuckGo. That's actually bad news and is a honeypot. So I would not recommend DuckDuckGo. If anything, you're probably going to want to use a Cirque's NG instance. I personally use Ooglester, but that has been acting like absolute garbage recently. So I could probably do search.be. I think search.be should work. So I'm going to go ahead and go into search. I'm going to switch this to search.be and then delete all of these, including start page. Yes, start page can be good, but obviously just why? So you can do a, a keyword, so I'll do at be I'll do at be for this one so I think we should be good on that front but yeah that should be the only one you should be using now next we're gonna enable tracking protection it's under privacy and security and tracking protection now this is for an older version of Firefox that are doing this here do not track do not track I think is in the settings here it is, the do not track signal. Now, if do not track is turned on, we may want to disable uh, WebRTC. WebRTC will basically expose, if you're using a VPN like I do, this will actually expose your real IP address. Though the VPN I use is decently encrypted, but you kind of don't want to leak your IP address. So, we're going to go to about config, about colon config, and then we'll go ahead and add in, I'm going to put, where can I put this? I can't even put it on top, can I? Well, either way, we're going to grab this value here. We want to make sure this is set to false. It will be set to true by default. Turn that off. You do not need it. You can also remove DRM which I personally do remove DRM. I think there is going to be something about DRM. It's under general DRM. It's going to be down here. I think DRM is turned off, so it is disabled by default when using LibreWolf. So we should be fine on that. This does remove all the code, so we should be good on that front. And then I will type in about support. 
and then it'll be under application basics and then profile directory now if we see GMP EME Adobe and widevine CDM which I do not believe we have that that means it is disabled by default. So I do not need to reset this demo one here that I have. It is possible to remove DRM, not on the Android version of it though. Uh, the recommendations are uBlock Origin, Privacy Badger, do not use Privacy Badger. Privacy Badger is not really that great. I use, look at the plugins I use here. I have Canvas Blocker, even though I do have RFP turned on, this is just another step in doing this. uBlock Origin, no script, multi-account containers, Lib redirect, privacy settings. We got HTTPS everywhere. This one is not an, uh, recommended. No script is recommended. Cookie auto delete, I don't do that one. Better privacy, I don't know about that. I don't know about this one. I started using Canvas Defender recently. So that's going to be pretty easy. Decentralized I've used before. This one is weird. Milvelope, KeyPass, HTTP connector. So it's basically like the KeyPass XC extension and privacy settings. There's that. I'm going to get out of this. This document will also be in the description below. I am on version 1.1.9. So I think I should be okay. Now, you definitely want to go into hardening your browsers and Firefox. So this one right here. So I did not record the previous version of this specific part of the tutorial very well. So I'm going to be doing it right here with you guys. So we need to go to Appendix V1, which is hardening your browsers. Here it is. We'll go into the Firefox section. Now the first things first, we're going to click on personalize in the home page, make sure nothing is there. So we're good on that front. Next, we want to open up the settings, go into search, and you should be using a search ng instance, but you can use whatever search engine you want. That's actually good news for your privacy. So that's another thing to consider as well. Next, we need to go into privacy and security and we do need uh, custom basically this enhanced tracking protection that is actually turned on by default so we don't need to worry about that on LibreWolf but if you see a similar menu you're going to want to place that into custom and then set all of these to ensure those things are blocked and of course always send that do not track signal Next, go into login and passwords. You do not ask to save logins and passwords for your websites. That is just another privacy nightmare. Next, you need to go down to permissions and block all of these. Also, block the pop-ups and always warn when you try to install add-ons. Make sure the add-ons you can use were properly vetted and they should be free open source software. So that's another requirement. So that should be turned off. Now, if you are on a Firefox based browser that has this setting, disable everything in that section. Next, we'll go to HTTPS only mode. You'll want to provide a secure connection in all windows. It should be enabled. Now, there are some uh, customizations of Firefox, like Arkenfox's user.js, which is on GitHub. But I have also hardened it to basically my preferences, and I've done everything here. All you have to do, follow the stuff in this guide, go into this section here about colon config, and then do all of this as said. Now, there are some things you need to disable, you should do at least the first and the moderate settings, at least the basic and the moderate settings. 
unless you are willing to DIY, you shouldn't be doing the advanced stuff. But if that's what you want to do, then go for it. I do not care. But all you have to do, copy from inside the quotes and place that into there. Now, also follow these instructions here to know what to set these things to. I am on LibreWolf and I've pretty much hardened the absolute you know what out of it. There are some other uh, add-ons to consider. You've got uBlock Origin, Smart Refer, which basically does this. Uh, you've got no script and with no script, you want all these settings except ping, unrestricted CSS and LAN. Otherwise, anything else will be blocked. Leap redirect. This is basically if you want to use privacy friendly alternatives to stuff like YouTube or Twitter, TikTok, whatever. Skip redirect is another one of these. I don't actually, how do you do about skip redirect? This tries to extract the final URL, goes straight away if successful. Hmm. Okay. I will definitely take a uh, look at that then. I've never tried skip redirect, so that's something to consider. But otherwise, that is going to be it for this short tutorial on how to harden a Firefox-based browser. Thank you, and good night.